What's up guys? It's your host for Sinclair Cooking, AJ Sinclair here, and today we're going to be making some slutty brownies. So, I've never made these before, so we have a recipe pulled up, so I'm going to tell you what you need to make these at home. So, there's three layers to these. There's the brownie layer, the Oreo layer, and the cookie layer. And we're going to figure out what order to put them in. But for the brownie layer, you need 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter, one and a half, or one and one fourth cups of white sugar, three fourths a cup of cocoa powder, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two large eggs, and a half cup of flour. For the Oreo layer, all you need is one package of Oreos. We got two, because uh, we may be snacking on them a little bit later after we shoot this video. And for the cookie dough layer, we need one half cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, a fourth cup of brown sugar, three fourths cup of white sugar and egg, one and one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and one fourth cup of flour, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of baking powder, and one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, if you'd like chocolate chip cookies. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this and make ourselves some slutty brownies. All right, first we're gonna get our nine by nine square pan and a little bit of Baker's Joy, and we're gonna go ahead and grease this bad boy up so we don't get any stickage later on in the baking process. And then what we're gonna do to get ready, we're gonna separate what we're gonna do, the brownie mix over here and the cookie dough mix over there. And I think first what we're gonna do is uh, melt our butter over at flame in our little pot. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and do the one and one fourth cup of white sugar and the three fourths cup of our baking cocoa. I'm going to pour it in here and then add it to the melting butter we got going on over here. Pour it into here. That's one. All right, now that she's mixing that all up in there, we're gonna get a half teaspoon of our kosher salt. Add it to her mixture. And then one teaspoon of our vanilla extract. Beautiful. Yes, chef. All right, then we're gonna add our eggs and we're gonna stir all our concoction together until the eggs are no longer visible and are mixed into the mixture nicely. All right, now we're gonna, our final ingredient, a half cup of our regular flour. Off the top there, get it nice and even, and then bring it around here and dump it into the mixture. And then we're gonna whisk that together until you can't see it anymore. And then that is gonna be the end of our brownie mix. So we'll let her finish that and then we'll hop into the cookie dough. All 
All right, now that we've mixed all our flour in, all our eggs in, and all the other ingredients, our brownie mix for the slutty brownies is complete. Now, we'll set this down, make our way to the other station, and get cracking on the cookie dough. All right, now for the cookie dough, we're gonna start with 1 4th cup of brown sugar and 3 4th cup of white sugar. So, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in here. Butter in there. How much is it? This much butter. <laughs> throw it in this thing and then mix it all up. Now that we mix this up into here, we're gonna go ahead and get one and one fourth teaspoon of our vanilla extract. So I'm gonna get this. We're gonna go ahead and bring it over to the bowl this time. Get our one teaspoon, and then our fourth teaspoon. And a little bit extra. But that's all good. Now we're gonna go ahead and crack our egg and put it also into the mixture. Ooh, Beautiful. Yeah. So now we're gonna mix this, get all blended in there. We should be almost done. Now that those are all blended together, we're going to go ahead and get one and one fourth cup of flour and then a half teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder, and regular salt. So let's go ahead and do that. And for our last final step, we're gonna add a cup of chocolate chips. And I was just told by Chef West, we can't just dump them in there, we gotta fold them in there. So we're gonna do a little bit at a time, bump them around, and a little bit more. Yes, so, Chef. And this is kind of small, but I guess you just do this. Yes, Chef. And add a little more. Good shape. You're doing great. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, I add the last bit. And boom. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. You got cookie dough. All right, now that we're done with everything, we're gonna start with our cookie dough mix. We're gonna slather it on the bottom, make a good base. Then we're gonna lay a layer of Oreos across the cookie dough. Then finally pour our brownie mix that we made on top. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. So let's go ahead and do that and get this thing done because I am hungry.
Now that the cookie dough has been laid, we're gonna go and lay a layer of Oreos. Now that we are done with our Oreo layer, we're gonna take our brownie layer that I made back at the beginning and just pour a small layer across the top. This stuff is pretty thick though, just like you. We have the oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna go and pop this in there for 30 to 45 minutes, checking on it every once in a while and making sure it cooks properly. But that is it, easy as that. So let's put this thing in the oven and get it cooking. All right, so 45 minutes has gone by and the slutty brownies are complete. Now kids, remember when you take something out of the oven, it's very hot, so always wear protection. And turn off your oven, or else you'll burn the whole house down. I think that is it. So, we're gonna let that cool off for a second. We're gonna cut into it, check out what it looks like with the layers, and then finally try it. I'd recommend trying it with some milk. So that's what I'm gonna do, because uh, cookies and milk go together, Oreos and milk go together, and brownies and milk go together, so why not? So let's give it a second to chill, then we're gonna try our taste test, our slutty brownies. We're gonna cut into it. It's a little bit gooey still, but the top of the brownies were getting a little burned, so I don't really wanna to touch this with my hands. Middle piece because no one likes the end pieces. That's very gooey. Here we go. There it is, guys. First look at the slutty brownies. You can see the cookie, the Oreo, and the brownie. So I'm gonna let this piece cool off for a second, and then we're gonna give it the taste test. All right, guys. I'm gonna give this a try. We got our slutty brownie, we got our milk. I don't know, should I dip it, or should I just eat it and then drink it? I think I'm just gonna eat it. So you get the taste of the brownie, and get the taste of the milk. Aha! That's actually really good. Ooh. And with the milk, 10 times better. You can really taste the cookie and the brownie. And then at the end, the Oreo hits. It is crazy. Now I'm gonna try to dunk it. Oh. I said the first method was better, but this one's still pretty good. I give these 8 out of 10 for desserts. I'm a dessert connoisseur, so they are pretty dang good. Easy to make. Took roughly 2 hours or so, including the filming and everything, so I'd say this is a must make at home. If you haven't tried it, slutty brownies are a must have dessert. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna try to put out a video every week or so. Uh, yeah, today was Slutty Brownies. Leave comments on what you wanna see us make in the future. We'll let you do anything you guys ask for. So, thank you so much. Like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next video.